Hi, I'm doing the walkthrough for the itinerary project for the MOSA hackathon for fall 2022. Um, it was, this was inspired in kind of two parts. Uh, the first being that my wife and I like to travel and uh, we have like a map hanging on our wall and we put a pin in each city that we visited. Um, we just think that's kind of cool to have like that visual representation of all the places we've traveled. And it can be kind of cool just when you're sitting around to look up at the map and kind of just remember some of the interesting trips that you've taken. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to bring that to the digital realm. And then uh, the second inspiration that kind of gives us more of its usefulness is uh, if we're going on a trip or if uh, you know, a friend of ours are going somewhere that we've already been, you know, a lot of times we're going to be sharing trip recommendations or itineraries and uh, we don't usually do a very good job keeping track of that sort of stuff. So it can be pretty chaotic and disorganized and you kind of forget a lot of the places that you went to on trips and, you know, maybe share like a half written word document or, uh, you know, cobble something together from old pictures or something you had saved on Google maps. Um, so the plan here is to kind of put both of those things in one place and, you know, give you a place to view all the trips you've been on and a way to share those with your friends. Um, so on this homepage, uh, users can see kind of an, an example map uh, with markers for some of the locations they might have visited. Uh, we have Chicago and San Diego uh, on this map here. Uh, then users can either sign up or log in. Um, so I'll go ahead and log in. Uh, and I won't save that password. And if I go to my profile page, um, I can see some of the trips I've taken, I'll just put these on for demo purposes, but we got like Philadelphia, Chicago. Um, if you click on a trip, it'll zoom you in on the city and you can see the places that you've gone. So say for like Philadelphia, I've been to University of Pennsylvania, obviously, and uh, like Independence Hall. Um, you know, if there were more, more places I'd been, I could save markers there and I'd have all the trip itinerary in one place. Um, and then if I want to zoom back out and reset the map, um, you know, can do the same for other trips. So like for Chicago, maybe you know, it's a Millennium Park and a Cubs game. Um, so that's the primary functionality. Uh, if we were to add a place, um, let's see, let's say I went to like San Francisco um, and I'm just going to do today to make things easy. Uh, let's add a place. Let's do maybe the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, so then I can add that place. I could add more places if I wanted to. And when I complete the trip, uh, the browser will re-render and it'll be added to the map. Um, now we can see San Francisco and we can see the Golden Gate Bridge as well. Um, so you kind of get get both those functionalities there. Um, also, we can have friends, so I also set up a profile for my wife. Um, and if I search for her, uh, we are, we're friends here, so I'm able to see her profile. Um, if we weren't, there'd be an add friend tag and I could add her. Um, so a couple places she's been, I guess I put uh, Portland, Austin, and San Francisco. So uh, same thing, you can kinda see all of her trips and all of her itineraries. Uh, that's pretty much it for the functionality. Uh, if we go here, we can see friends, so I can get to, get to friends that way as well. Um, and if you have any pending requests, they show there as well. Um, but that's, yeah, it's the basic functionality. You can kind of see, see friends, you can see your own trips and uh, your itineraries and friends trips and itineraries, and it's pretty easy to share them. Uh, so I hope you guys check out the project and I hope you guys enjoy it.